Welcome to session number two, which is your upper body section. Now, we're gonna go through back, chest, shoulders, biceps, and triceps, right? Now, we're gonna do 30 seconds of work on our back twice with a 30 second break in between. So it's 30 on, 30 off, 30 on. Then we will go to chest, do two rounds of chest. Then we'll go to shoulders, two rounds of shoulders. Go to biceps, two rounds of biceps. And then triceps, two rounds of triceps. All broken down, so on the second round, it gives you the opportunity to maybe get rid of some of the common faults. And then that can apply to the confidence to flow you into other classes. So let's get going. Yellow tabs coming to the top. We're gonna to start with what we call a low row. Now the low row is obviously a back exercise. We're gonna work for 30 seconds. I'm gonna show you the exercise before you go. The more you walk your feet towards the anchor point, the heavier your body weight becomes. So that's up to you. First round, you can maybe start light, and then second round, a little bit heavier. So someone's like, just dip your toe in the water a little bit, okay? Now, watch this. You're gonna set from here, you're gonna lean back. Shoulders back and down, head looks at anchor point, bum is squeezed. Pull your chest through the handles, squeeze through your upper back, lower down with control. We don't want to be dropping the hip and swinging the hips. Whole body up, whole body down. So let's get going. Starting with the low rows in five. Walk your feet in, let's be conservative first. Leaning back, going in three, two, one, off we go. Pull that chest through those handles, squeeze through that upper back. Maintaining, keeping the shoulders down away from our ears, brushing those arms on our rib cage. So we're staying and maintaining that low row position. You will see a lot of this across on demand and live, okay? Final 10 seconds, keep that head looking at that anchor point. If you're on a slippy floor, you can drop the toes down to give you a little bit more grip and a little bend in the knee. Final three, two, one, time. Now. 30 seconds to recover, two rounds off. Do you want to make this set heavier? Were you finding on that last 10 seconds, were you starting to swing your hips? Were you starting to shrug your shoulders? If so, take the ego out of it, walk it back, make it lighter, and get that reaction in your back. Second set, you decide, heavier or lighter, totally up to you. Here we go. Going in three, two, one. Take it away, guys. Now, keeping those heels planted into the floor, like I said, slippy four, you're welcome to drop those toes down. Shoulders down away from the ears, squeeze into that upper back. I want you to think about that upward phase, contraction at the top. There is an upward phase and a downward phase to every single exercise. Make them identical. Final, six, five, four, going into chest in three, two, one, and rest it there. Now, strap adjustments. I want you to go yellow tabs down to mid calf, and we're gonna take it into what we call a chest press. Now, with the chest press, you're gonna spin the straps over the top of the shoulders. Don't go, just get here with me so that we go on time. I want you up on your tiptoes. Now watch, my bum's sticking up, so tuck your tailbone, and with your wrists, I want them straight. Straps just gently touching the shoulders, okay? Now, I want you to think 45 degree elbows. So let's go now, lower down, chest comes in line with the fists, head stays tucked, push and squeeze that chest. You need to think about where the elbows are tracking in order to facilitate hitting that chest. So stretch the fiber, 45 degree elbow will give you the best chest, and then engage. Now on that upward phase, squeeze that chest to that top. On that downward phase, work with control. Final three, two, one, time. Now, like I said, almost to dip your toe in the water round. So if you now wanna make it heavier, walk your feet closer to your anchor point. Elbows at 45 will stretch that fiber in its best position on that downward phase. If you go too high, you're taking it into your delt and I want it to be chest. Here we go. Decide, are you gonna make it heavier? Are you gonna make it lighter? Concentrate on technique. This is confidence building. Educating you what's right, what feels wrong. Here we go, three, two, one, off we go. Lower down with control, push and squeeze. I want you to imagine there's a tennis ball between your chin and your chest, keeping your upper part of your spine in alignment. Squeeze your glutes the entire time. Do you wanna make it heavier? Walk it towards that anchor point. Making sure wrists stay straight like a punch. We're almost there. Final, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. 
Now, that's that chest breakdown into the chest press. So we've gone back with a pull, chest with a push. Now we're going back to a pull into what we call a Y fly. So we're gonna mimic the same position as our low row, but we're gonna change the arms. This time, never bend your arms or your wrists. Okay, 10 seconds. Leaning back, palms go to floor, shoulders down away from the ears, same setup as the row. Going with me on this first set in three, two, one. Watch this, you're gonna pull to that Y. Look at that, my wrists don't bend, my elbows don't bend, straight. Then that lever is long, you lower back down, you pull yourself back up. Keep your rib cage down, keep your bum squeezed, and squeeze through that shoulder. Keep the tension on the straps at the top. Give me a final 10 here. Are we starting to kink into our lower backs? That's not what we wanna be. Keep everything tight and locked down. Final three, two, one, time. Let me show you a common false round. When people lean back, as they pull, they extend at their hip, they go into their lower back, and they lose that focus of that lockdown. Everything is core to extremity on TRX. Every move you do, even though you're training shoulders, you're working from that core, okay? Keep that consistency. Do you wanna make it heavier by walking to your anchor point? One more round, here we go. Four, three, two, one, off we go. Pulling up, arms stay straight, keep that control. It doesn't have to be fast. I want you to think about every fiber, locking down, squeezing those glutes, head stays looking to anchor point. I'll show you one more time, don't kink into those lower backs. If so, make it lighter, adjust it, so that you can lock everything down. Final 10 seconds here, keep those wrists nice and straight. Squeeze those glutes. Should be starting to feel it in those shoulders now. Final four, three, two, one, time. Ooh. Now, we're gonna go into biceps. Two sets of biceps, two sets of triceps, upper body complete. Now, the principle of the row and the principle of the y, y fly is the same as the bicep curl. The only difference is the palms go to the ceiling. So you turn your palms to the ceiling, then all you're doing is shortening your bicep and lengthening it. Bending at the elbow, extending at the elbow. Ready? Lean back, here we go. Three, two, one, off we go. Curling either side of your temples, keeping your elbows up. You don't wanna be dropping the elbow down and then raising up at the end. If you're dropping the elbow down, you're going into a row and then finishing with a bicep. I want you to isolate your bicep. Curl either side of the temples, squeeze those glutes, control down. Head looks at anchor point, rib cage stays down. Everything stays the same, just like our row and just like our Y fly. Final three, two, one time. So you can start to see the dot to dot pattern happening here, right? If this locks down on every single upper body exercise you do, you are setting yourself up for success to make it heavier, to adapt and flow into other exercises. That's the matrix code, so to speak, okay? Now you get to do it again. Do you wanna make it heavier? Do you wanna make it lighter? Are you kinking or are you dropping the elbows? One more round, here we go. Three, two, one, palms to ceiling, curl to temples, lower down with control. Shortening and lengthening through that bicep, squeezing from those glutes, keeping that consistency. Soon as it gets too hard, adjust your feet to apply the technique and hold that control. Come on, we've got 13 seconds. Stay with me, we're almost there. Keep squeezing, final, counting you down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Two sets of back, two sets of chest, two sets of shoulders, two sets of biceps. One more thing to do, triceps. Now, same setup as when we do our chest press, difference is hand position. So we're gonna set it up, up on the tiptoes, tuck through the tailbone. Hands come in line with the forehead. You bend at the elbow joint, you fall your body in, in line with your forehead, and you push away and extend. Now, we're gonna move in five. Make this first round light, please. Three, two, one, go. Shoulders down, bend the elbow joint, bring the whole body with you, press away. Chin is tucked, tennis ball between the chin and the chest. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes. The matrix code that we've been talking about, 15 seconds. If you need a rest, take it. You wanna put one leg in front and slightly stagger it? You can. This is quite a tough exercise to do. It's a lot of confidence with this one. Keep that chin tucked, final four, three, two, 
and one, rest, recover. You notice I put my leg in front, but I went up onto my tiptoe. So I took a little bit of stability on my front leg to give me the confidence to lower down into it, to push back away from it. Now, if you wanna make it heavier, walk it in, but don't start to stick your bum up in the air and break at the hip, because then you're halving your body weight. Show that control, keep that consistency, okay? Going in 10 seconds, this is the final round, and we've complete our upper body section. Come on, let's go. Tiptoes, tailbone, wrists, three, two, bending at the elbow, falling in, press away. Keeping those elbows tight, hands coming in line with the forehead, shoulders down away from those ears, squeezing in those glutes. Should be feeling it in those triceps now. Keep tucking, keep squeezing. We got a final 12. Come on, we're almost there. Elbows tight, starts to get hard, drop that foot in, put a bit of balance in there. Almost there, three, two, one, and time. Now, as I mentioned, we did back, we did chest, we did shoulders, we did biceps, and we did trice. So that is the fundamentals of all upper body movements that you can do on TRX. By simply walking your feet in and walking your feet back to hold your technique so that you don't have to go get heavier dumbbells or lighter dumbbells. You simply just walk your feet in and back. That's what's gonna increase your strength, your muscular endurance. Okay, I'll see you in section three, which we're moving to core.